Yo, what's up guys, Jardia, coach of Bayern Munich, and welcome to Meme Week 8. This week up against none other than my very good friend Raikwin, uh, coach of the New Queens Park Rangers. You should all know him. OG PPL, I'm a fantastic content creator, overall great guy. Uh, highly encourage you to check him out, follow him on Twitter, all that stuff. Uh, if you care for wrestling, that's also something you should... It's another reason you should check him out, because he's a big wrestling dude, and he loves wrestling and stuff and other things. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, this is D1 vs D2, I guess, episode 2, yeah, <laughs> uh, and Rise team should be on screen right about now. Uh, I should also mention I have made a transfer, I dropped uh, Cryogonal and picked up Simisia. Yeah, I almost brought it, I really want to bring it to this game because it actually has a decent matchup, but, you know, I didn't. So, uh, he his draft should be on screen, he has Tapu Wulu, Heatran, Mega Blasters, Salamence with Z-moves, Jolteon, Snorlax with all Z-moves, a little muck, go with Archeops with Zemus, Mistreavers, and his meme pick was Mudbray, which he's actually brought more than once. Um, I think at the end of the season he had, a, he had brought it three times, which is, I think, the most out of everyone. Pretty sure, actually, yeah. So it's hard to ride for actually dedicating it to his meme pick and bringing it. Um, but yeah, uh, his team is pretty spooky, but it's also pretty weird, and he does have stuff that I can kill. What? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah, he has threats. Tapu Bulu is a monster because even Fizz Death Melodross takes up to 50% from Adamant Bandit Woodhammer. Obviously, he's not going to bring that because that's just fodder for Dragnet, and his team really doesn't like Dragnet because he doesn't have any good priority. Um, like he only has what? He has Aqua Jet, Mango Blasters, and Fake Art. Uh, he has Quick Attack Jolteon, uh, Shadow Sneak, a little muck, uh, and Mistreavers might get Shadow Sneak, I'm not sure. So, yeah. Not much in that in that sense. Uh, so Dragonite after DD can kind of just win depending on whether he has a scarf or not. Um, definitely have to just gonna scout for that. Uh, scarf men's for example could be a thing. Uh, though I'm not sure that it will be a thing. So yeah. So as you can see, first up of course is as always there's a Paragord, there's a Dragonite with a Fly Z, Multi Scale, Fly, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Dragon straightforward stuff. With enough speed to speed Trend, if in case he's like Scarf Trend tries to catch me off guard. Uh, in case I don't run enough speed. Or in just case, just in case he's offensive heat train, I need to revenge kill it. This does the trick. So, um, yeah, Draenor kind of just wins late game, like super easily. He also doesn't have great flying resists. Um, heat train, Jolteon, and Archeops, and none of those want to take hits from a Dragonite because Earthquake for Tran, and then the other two just don't want to take Dragon Claw. So, uh, that's cool. Next up, we do have Thorja the Weaver with the Life Hope knockoff, Ice Girl Crash, Ice Shot, and Beat Up uh, with Jolly enough speed for. Uh, buh, 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 Archeops, that one, yeah. Um, beat up is there because it's the best way I have of damaging Mega Blastoise while still having um, not natural gift essentially, <laughs> but still keeping my life up. Um, a natural gift doesn't even do that much if he's bulky, so beat up, beat up does a good chunk. Um, I think a max HP1 gets 2k out, maybe? I think, maybe, depends. Um, but yeah, it does a ton, does most. Most, uh, the most damage of anything I have, um, and Weaver just does so much damage to the rest of his team. Um, Snorlax can be a decent answer, especially if he doesn't carry the Z Crystal, but um, I guess speed up still does the thing. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Weaver does a ton. Gives me a nice check to things like Mance, because I can just Ice Shard it, and if he's especially if he's Z move, obviously. Um, Archeops can also just catch an Ice Shard to the face, even if it's like Scarf or Tailwind or something. Um, Gogo is gonna get obliterated, you know, Jolteon doesn't want to take an ice shard, so all those things, Bulu if it's Scarf, I can ice shard. So we were just really, really nice this game. And that's that's the thing. So next up we do have Ruta the Donker with the Assault Vest Sturdy as the ability, Earthquake, Gunk Shot, Ice Shot, and Knockoff with a lot of Spadef. That is so I think I get like four hit KO'd by Jolteon at best. And then I also take two fire blasts from Heatran, I think that's what it was. That would make sense, but yeah, I think that's what it is. Um Basically, he, Donphan is there to deal with Jolteon, is there to be just a fat dude that gets off Earthquakes because his team doesn't love Earthquake for the most part, if, especially if he doesn't bring Bulu. I can gunk shot that on a sword too, so that could be a thing, that'd be great. Um, and then I've Ice Shot and knock off, uh, knock off for general utility, just get rid of items and stuff. Because I have Rapid Spin on Blasters, I'm pretty sure. So. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Donphan just is cool, I guess. And then we have Gajita Metagross with the leftovers, Meteor Mesh, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, and Hammer Arm. Uh, physically defensive with 18 speed. This is my Bulu switch, and that's pretty much all it's there for. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be like a sub bulk up Bulu. 
uh, bulk up possible sub I don't think so because I do have a main god of war so um yeah that's that uh, rocks you know a nice fun mens and just in general chip damage on his team would be really cool um and that's pretty much all there is to say about when I go pretty straightforward also helps a little bit with mens because I can take uh an earthquake and just get a medium mash off and that'd be nice uh I also take it from Jolteon and pretty much everything Archaeops do I can also check Archaeops with this and Don Fan these two combined Plus, uh, we will should be able to deal with it. And also, Blast Tech Healer, the Blastoise this week appropriately named. Uh, which is what's called Ice Beam Rapid Spin and Toxic. Pretty straightforward stuff, makes offensive. Uh, this is my switch to Mega Blastoise. This is general utility dude that takes hits. Um, and yeah, and Rapid Spin. So it's just a Blastoise, it's not the most fun Pokemon, but yeah. Uh, at this point, I was really weak to Curse Lax. Like, really weak so I need to uh, fix that kind of I also need Mega God of War because it just does stuff and it's really nice against the team so I brought this set uh, with the God of Ride, Hyper Voice, HP Ground, Wish and Encore a ton of HP uh, which I don't remember what it's there for uh, a, the special attack investment I think had to do with Heatran I think pretty sure uh, and then max speed because I can speed tie with the Ments if necessary uh, basically the Hyper Voice roasts the majority of his team barring um, like Heatran and the little muck can take it, Snowix can take it, but that's fine, this will take a good chunk. And uh, Encore is there so I can uh, Encore Curse Lex into, um, into, you know, Curse or Rest, something like that. Uh, and then just proceed from there and just kind of try to beat it that way. That's pretty much it, because like, Curse Lex is such a threat to my team that I, <laughs> I need an Encore in this. Um, otherwise, I could have run a more, a more useful move overall, but. I don't want to lose to Curse Lex, and I can't afford Haze or Roar on Blastoise, and I can't afford anything. And Encore is, I think, probably more reliable than Roar, um, because if it's last Monster on Lex, I'm kind of fucked. So, yeah, uh, that's the team. I'm gonna pause and get right into the game against the Raikwen. <laughs> okay, so here with the game. I'm gonna let you chat if you care. Uh, and you can see Rai decided to bring uh, Heatran, a little Muck, Mega Blastoise, Go Goat, Jolteon, and Snorlax. So. Um, no Bulu, which is pretty surprising. No Mens, which is very relieving. Um, and no Archaeops, which is also pretty relieving. No Misdreavers, which could be a decent annoyance to my team, I think. But I do have Knock Off on my Dawn Friend. I do have a Weevil with also Knock Off and stuff and things. So And Toxic my Blast. So I think I was was going to be okay. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to lead off with my Dawn Friend. Excuse me for that. Uh, because I'm expecting him to probably lead with something that isn't this uh, but he does lead with this and that's sad I'm just gonna go into my um, Blastoise he's gonna mega up and he's gonna reveal the Ice Punch this is a physical Mega Blastoise uh, <laughs> which you will see later on uh, is for my Blissey which is pretty spicy but it's not gonna help him this week um, he's gonna go into his noise I'm just gonna drop a Toxic um, he wasn't gonna switch into Muck or Heatran, and Toxic would be really nice with this, or Go Goat, as well as Mega Blasters, of course. So, I'm just gonna go to my Mega here, and he's gonna reveal the curse, and I don't like that. So, um, however, my team means that he can't be Mono Body Slam with Rest Sleep Talk because I have a Kofag, and also Manibros is, you know, Rest. He's gonna reveal Crunch, so uh, he could very well be have Crunch be his only attacking move because my only Dark Resist on his team at this point is Weavile, so. That's a problem. I'm just gonna go for Yonko here, lock him into the crunch, and just be a happy camper, uh, so he can't rest up, and he's gonna take toxic damage, and that's fine. So, I'm gonna go my Weavile here, uh, even if he switches, that's fine. Uh, if he stays in, that's, you know, perfect, because he's gonna die, but he does go into his uh, Mega Blasters, and I'm gonna make a play here. So, I feel like he's gonna double out, because my uh, regular Blasters is just a fairly free switch in. Uh, he's gonna double out into his Gobot or something of the sort. So, uh, maybe Jolteon even, something like that, you know? Um, probably not Jolteon because I have Dawn Fang in the back. But yeah, Gogurt would be these uh, double here. And I'm gonna go for the beat up here. A bit of an unnecessary play. But he does go for the fucking focus punch. Um, and I'm gonna just beat up and men make sure that he can't do that. So, uh, he was fucking focus punch back up there. So, catch Rebels here on the switch. And nice memes. Um, and uh, it doesn't work out because we've also got. And he's gonna go for a full this turn. Do a clean 14% to my Blash Dirge. Uh, and I'm gonna, I think, just Skull this turn? I think? No, I double. I double into my Metagross expecting Snorlax, I think, or Go Goat, one or two. So, uh, I'm gonna go for Hammer Arm that should kill this, and he's Trouble Berry, so and he does an 8%. I could've just gone for Meteor Mash, which I think might've killed, but I want to be safe, and then he was Trouble. It's very sad. 
I thought he might have been like Z Crunch or something on the sword, but he isn't. So I'm gonna make a guard here. I uh, wanna encore him because at this point I still feel like he's, he might have body slam or something. But you know, he goes into Go Goat. Uh, I'm gonna go make the switch into my Metagross so now I can take any hit. Uh, Earthquake is gonna do a clean 27%. Uh, and Metagross doesn't really care. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get my Roxy. Yeah, I do. Uh, so he's just gonna stay in, go for the hidden power. I is expecting my Dragonite to come in. Nope. Uh, I'm just gonna stay in and I'm gonna try to beat the thing 1v1. I wanna scout for the thing set. It doesn't seem to be a bulk up set, uh, just because he has HPIs. So, you know, that's fine. He also, you're also gonna see he doesn't have leftovers, so. At this point, I'm fairly sure he is assault, but he also, you know, went into this on my guard or stayed in, I guess. So uh, that's fine. I'm just gonna go for another medium, medium mash here. I'm gonna eat up these earthquakes. I don't need mana growth for anything else at this point, so I'm fine with this. Gonna bring him down to seven percent. I do live the earthquake. He doesn't get a crit, and I'm gonna be able to knock him out with the earthquake. So uh, mana is picking up a kill. Golgo goes down. That's nice. So Blasto is a little bit freer to spam Scald and stuff, and he doesn't. He only has Jolteon left to kill it. Speaking of Jolteon, that's gonna come in now. Um, and it's gonna kill me with a Shadow Ball, which is fine. Uh, at this point, he has nothing left that can switch into an Earthquake, really. Um, or at least not well, because his Blastoise is weakened, um, and Snorlax is asleep and stuff. So I'm just gonna go for the Earthquake. Uh, it should be enough to do enough damage to the thing to a point where it can't rest up. It does 34%, so the clean 3 hit KO, uh, 36 on the second one, and he's gonna go for the rest. And he's gonna go for the sleep talk. So he is actually a uh, mono crunch, which does make sense because I again my only talk is Weavile, which unless I'm SD, he should be able to to beat pretty easily or taunt, I guess. Um, which is pretty interesting. Would be pretty interesting. So he's gonna he's gonna go into his muck here, uh, trying to break the sturdy and get rid of my item. Um, I'm just gonna stay and click earthquake if in case he's cursed or something and just tries to like bait me to switch out to keep my item and my sturdy intact. I just wanna hit him because it's gonna do enough no matter what his set is. Um, to the point where curse set shouldn't be scary. So, since Snorlax is dead, I'm gonna go into my Mega Gardevoir, set that off here, Ice Punch from the Mega Blast, let's get some Mega Gardevoir for fuck's sake. And this is the opportunity for Dragon to set up. Okay, so uh, yeah, unless he frees me, I can I can DD there, shout out to my laptop dying once again. Uh, but he only does 40%, and I'm gonna be able to knock him out with the Super Sonic Sky Strike, uh, and Mega Blast is gonna go down at this point. This should be the game. If he's Shooker Tran, uh, that obviously lives. But at that point, um, I can still win the game with uh, Weavile plus, yeah, Weavile lives a hit from, from Jolteon, so I'm fine. So, uh, yeah, he dies, he will scarf Heatran, uh, hoping that I would not be faster, that I would not have run max speed, I guess, at that point, but I do, and Dragonclaw's gonna knock out Jolteon, and that's a dead Jolteon, that's a game. GG to uh, Rai, that's a 4 for us in week 8. Um, yeah, still not losing after that one loss, after those two losses, yeah, after that, you know what I mean. Still on a winning streak, okay? That's what I was going for, and I failed. Um, wait, did I? No, I lost week seven, so I just I'm building up a winning streak. There we go. Um, week six. I lost week six, and I won week seven. Yeah, okay. Smart. I'm a smart person. Anyway, uh, GG Ryan. As always, make sure to check him out. He's a great dude. Um, one of the nicest people in the community, and you will certainly uh, enjoy his his personality and his content. So, um. Yeah, that's pretty much all there is. Uh, tell me to think of the team and the game and the stuff and the things. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, leave some notes. I will appreciate all three of them and hopefully see you guys next time. Goodbye.